Hello again, Internet! You know me as McQueen17, and this is UFO Enemy Unknown. I am flying solo today because I cannot afford any distractions. We are assaulting an alien battleship today, and it is full of mutons. It has landed, so they are all still alive. So, here's the situation. The alien battleship is going to have at least one guy with a blaster launcher, probably two, maybe even three. So, if an alien can see any one of my guys, they all know exactly where all of my guys are. And if that happens, they will keep on shooting blaster launchers at me until we are just completely destroyed. So, I need to do this as carefully as possible, or else everyone will just die. So... Ugh. Ugh. Let's just... Let's just get in, get on with it. Alright, let's see how it goes. Yep. That's about what I expected. Great. But he used up all of his TUs. And of course it's nighttime, so... Yeah. Aha! Great. Uh, let's keep scouting. We can blaster launcher who we need. Aha, there's the UFO. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Oh, that guy frickin' took the blaster launcher. Dear freaking lord. I hate mutons. Alright, maybe human can save us. Hooray for human. Michael Stewart. Ooh, down but not dead. All right. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, chances are a few of them have spawned in and around this area. That should go to the central lift. Okay. Let's see it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. I just gotta be absolutely certain that none of them see any of my guys, or else they will just blaster launcher me to oblivion. Alright, let's see how this first round goes. Oh yeah, expect a lot of hidden movement, by the way. Oh, whew, okay, round one, done. They didn't see any of my guys or else they would have just blaster launchered me. Unless I killed some of their guys that had blaster launchers. That would be nice. All right. We've got to destroy them completely on the ground. And by doing that, we should be able to contain them inside the UFO with proximity mines, and then we can just blaster launcher them from the roof on down. That's my hope, anyways. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, come on, come on, stupid thing. Aha. Okay, rookie. Let's get you some experience. Not like that, we won't. There you go. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's see how this works out. Mmm, Michael Stewart! Well, crap, they know where all my guys are, so expect a blaster launcher. Oh, they messed it up! Oh, thank God! Oh, wow! That was one of their terror units! Okay. Whew! Okay. Okay. They tried to blaster launcher me, but it looks like it got caught in a sand dune. We're okay. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, this is gonna suck all around, isn't it? Uh. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, can't let any one of them survive. Can you? You can take a shot at that guy, yeah. Excellent job, rookie. Oh, 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 Michael Stewart, how are you? Oh, he's perfectly fine. He is perfectly fine. Excellent job, Michael Stewart. Okay. Let's get this started. Now, the trick right now is to kill as many of their guys as quickly as possible. I suppose that just makes sense, actually. But to do it so that they start panicking. Because once their morale gets to a point where they start panicking, they will start dropping their weapons, they will start going berserk and shooting each other, and everything will just be a lot easier for me. So, let's take out their command first. Let's see how this goes. Excellent. All right, we got our hole. Uh, you're perfect, perfectly fine, right? Yeah, you're good, Michael Stewart. Good job. And next... There. That ought to take care of their upper echelons. Yep. All right. That's a good start. Okay, oh, oh, who are you looking at? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's another one of their terror units. Um, I have... Honestly, I have never seen their terror units attack. They're these weird little blob things. I know that they are supposed to have some sort of acid attack thing, but I've never seen it in action. It's possible because I've always played on beginner, and now I'm on superhuman, that might be different, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't want to see what happens when they attack. We'll put it that way. Let's see what happens. Okay, then that was not great, rookie. Oh, Mr. Crossit, you have a good survival instinct, right? That you do. Ugh. Sounds nasty. Okay, and once again, I don't know how many of them have blaster launchers. But I just gotta make sure that none of my guys are seen by their guys. Oh dear. Oh, look at you standing on the corpse of your fallen. Come on, human. Nice. Now kill him, please. Oh, oh, that guy had a blaster launcher. Oh, 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 oh thank God he's gone. Oh lord. Whew. Okay. Also, there should be some more ammunition for me there, then. Yay! See, this is, um, the central elevator shaft for the battleship. It actually goes up throughout the, uh, entire structure, leading to all the floors. The doors for it are here and here. So ideally, I'm gonna want a proximity mine. Yeah, place proximity mines here and here in order to take care of any that might come out. Although, these are mutons, and apparently they can stand up to blaster launcher bombs. So, you know. Ugh. But, so far, so good, I guess. Let's just hope for the best. Okay. Another round survived. Okay, okay. Things are going... a lot better than I expected. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, oh! Oh, he's panicked! He's panicked, or he was knocked unconscious by a blaster launcher. Both are likely. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no, who can take a shot at him? He has too good of cover! Oh crap! Oh crap. Um... Maybe human can save the day? I don't know, I'm not sure about that angle. He can try it! Come on, human! Human! God damn it, human! Okay. Alright, I'm sure we got somebody. We have to have somebody, right? I ain't. Mr. Crossit. Okay, Mr. Crossit. Come on, Sam. 
Oh no! No! Oh no! Okay, okay. Four, two, twenty-two. It's enough for an auto. Uh, it might still be in the way. No, we got it. Okay, come on, Sam. Get it, Sam. Get it, Sam. Oh, no. we've got problems, most certainly. If that guy sees any one of us, then again, I have taken out at least one of their guys with blaster launchers. The other ones might be inside. That being said, there is a hole in the roof of this place that they can send blaster launchers out of. Or if this guy ran into here, the door would stay open and the blaster launcher could get out that way. Ugh. I don't want to waste a whole blaster launcher on that guy. But that might be the best option. Uh, there we are. Uh, uh. Yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just flat out eliminate him. Yep. Screw that guy. Okay then. So, not a hundred percent accuracy. That's good to know. Okay, I'll not do anything so super cool then. I'll just launch it at the ground right next to him. Uh, that still might not be enough. But, well, let's see what happens. Of course. Oh, boy. Yep, let's just see what happens. Oh, okay then. Okay. Ooh, 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 what do we got? What do we got? Hello, you. Okay. He does have his weapon still. So, let's see if Boris can get a nice, easy kill. Come on, Boris. Good job, Boris. Let's see how this goes. Oh, no! Oh, he took the hit. Whoever that guy was. I think that was our guy that was standing on. Oh, human! Human with one fatal wound! Oh dear. Hello. You don't have a gun, though, so it couldn't have been you. But die for me, please. Okay, then. Okay. I respect that. Your firing accuracy is gonna be pretty low, but... Okay, don't hit any of our guys, please. Good shot, you man. Okay. Ah. Low random alien who has panicked. Hmm. Yeah, no easy answer to that one either. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end it and see what happens. Anyone else I need to move around? All right, now, finally, Michael Stewart. Yep. Beat this place up pretty good, I'd say. And now we have our man on the inside. <laughs> okay. I don't like it, but let's see what happens. Well, I don't know what that was. Oh, they're going berserk! But who, who died? Somebody got shot and killed. Because that was the sound of a human dying. Oh no. Oh no. It wasn't... Okay, it wasn't Michael Stewart. It was not Michael Stewart. So... Mr. Keller, you're fine, you're fine. Boris, you're good. You can still see... Now, that muton there. You're still alive, rookie. Sam Crossick, Claude, Crystal Heinch. Oh no! Was it Human? Human! He's been killed! Well, the rookie draw gets them all eventually, I guess. 
but who killed him? It must be somebody over here, then. Oh, God. Okay, well... In the meantime... That was terrible. That was pretty bad. I'll take that. In the meantime, Michael Stewart, what are we looking at here? Ha-ha! Another one that's panicked! Ha-ha-ha! Come on, Mike. No, oh, unconscious. Great. Okay. So we're down one, but that's still much better than I had expected. Alright. I think we'll just see how this goes. Now was someone berserking? Okay. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. All right. Okay, Boris, please take this guy out. Pretty, 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 please. Come on, Boris. Come on, Boris. Good job. Let's keep this going. All right. Brave, brave rookie. Ah! Does he have a blaster launcher? If so, I'm not certain he'll be able to get a reaction shot. Yep, so that was at least two with blaster launchers. If this is a guy with a blaster launcher. And just for sure, yes. Can you take a shot at him, though? Excellent. Can you do take better shots at him, though? Yes, he did have a blaster launcher, and he's gone now. Whew! Okay. Okay. Things are looking slightly up. Yeah, that's gonna be good enough for now. Good luck, Crystal. Standing right in front of their doorway. Okay. Okay. Brave, brave rookie. Not seeing anyone. Hmm. Okay, be super brave, rookie. Lucky, lucky rookie. Oh, rookie. Okay, then. Well done, rookie. Okay. See how this goes. Oh, ha ha ha! Well, Mr. Crossett, your reactions didn't exactly carry the day. Okay. Nice. Okay, Mr. Crossett, we will have you take care of this guy, maybe? Good job. And we disintegrated his corpse. All the more satisfying. Just to be safe. Nobody came down here, did they? Good. Meantime, Crystal Heinch. Oh! Seeing them already. You don't have any weapons, my poor panicked friend. Rookie no more. Fantastic. All right. Let's keep this going. Mutant soldier has panicked. Oh! Someone is... awake. Apparently. There you are. Okay, Boris. Give us another kill, please. Come on, Boris. Good job, Boris. Alright, let's see how this goes. I think we're down to the very last few dregs. Well, when in doubt, send Rookie to scout. I just made that up. Ah, hello there. Well, Rookie, I... We do need a new human. But your firing accuracy is absolutely terrible, Rookie. Well, you got okay reactions, pretty good strength, actually, and your health isn't bad. 
Not great. Okay. Tell you what, rookie, let's see how badly you want this. You wanted it pretty bad this time, it seems. All right, good job, rookie. I'm sorry. Rookie no more, future human. Or maybe we should switch it. Maybe we should switch it. Okay, let's see if that was it. Oh, we did it! Oh, God! Okay. Okay. So here's something fun. I had a nagging feeling in the back of my head after uh, last week's episode. Because I could have sworn that as soon as those battleships showed up, it was actually over for one of my countries. So I did something I don't really like to do. And I went on to UFOpedia and looked up the alien infiltration missions. And sure enough, sure enough, as soon as those battleships enter atmosphere, you lose one of your countries. Because apparently the aliens, I don't know, either beam down or do some sort of awesome parachute to their, to whatever country they're targeting and convince them to leave XCOM with a 100% success rate. So I've lost a country, even though this was, this worked, I'm still most likely losing Egypt or possibly Nigeria. However, the big reason I did this, I, I went into this, um, this, uh, this episode knowing that, the big reason I did it was for the sweet, sweet Illyrium. And, ah, uh, yes, we got some rookies going up. Uh, uh, yeah, rookie sergeant can't have that. No, sir. Congratulations, not rookie. Okay, so, once our ship gets back, we're gonna have to figure out what we're short on. And then... I don't know. Do we want to try to save Casablanca? Because it's gonna land. And that's another 200 Illyrium. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, we are heading back to base, and... Ooh, we might actually be cutting it close. Because I can almost guarantee that they're going to land on Casablanca. Mm, do I want to take on that... <sighs> that battleship. Two battleships in one day. I gotta be honest with y'all, I am wiped after that mission. That was... That was horrible. That was just absolutely horrible. Uh, you know what, it might be a moot point, because we might not even be refueled and rearmed in time to stop them. Let's see what happens, alright. Get back to base, get back to base. You know what, yeah, I don't want to go into that next battle without Tanky, so... Yeah. So, we're sorry, Casablanca, you're just gonna have a giant, giant, giant alien ship just parked on top of you for a little while. And again... Sky Rangers, you know, you know, I'm not gonna do it. Nope, 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 nope. I keep on umming and ahhing over it, but the fact is, it's gonna be nighttime by the time we get there, so nope, nope, no freaking way we're doing that. Oh, hey, good news. Ah, yes. Now we can more effectively stun people. Okay, now we got a couple new people in. Now let's do that rookie draw. All right, congratulations, Gaston. My, what a guy. That rookie. <laughs> All right, everyone. Tanky is back from the shop. Hooray, Tanky! Oh, but some little bit of good news. By getting the interceptor. Oh, a little bit of more good news. Actually, this is excellent news. Ah, the Avenger. It is... Faster than all of the alien ships. It has two weapon pods. Great. Uh, cargo space, which actually means how many people it can hold. Yeah, that's right. I could bring a crew of 26 people onto a mission if I wanted. Yeah. And it could, or it could carry four heavy weapons platforms with enough room for 10 soldiers left over. Yeah. Four tankies and 10 soldiers? Not bad. Not bad at all. Also, fun fact, this thing can go out into space. Oh, and as I was saying, uh, bases. South America, we will equip, equip the interceptor with these plasma beams I made. 
And South America is now up and running. And as time ticks over to midnight, we did pretty good. Funding change is plus a half million, which is impressive, considering I just lost probably a couple hundred thousand because Nigeria has signed a secret pact with unknown alien forces and has withdrawn from the project. So, the aliens sniped Nigeria out from under us. But for a bit of good news... <clears throat> USA, Russia, UK, France, Germany, Spain, China, Japan, India, Brazil, Australia, South Africa, Egypt, and Canada are particularly happy with your progress. So that's actually pretty rare for uh, the funding change to be positive after you've lost one of your founders, but we made it work. And finally, finally, we took a few of our soldiers, we jammed them into these, I don't know, like uh, chairs, but they're kind of also like coffins. We did weird stuff to them, saying that we could only pay them in unimaginable power. Finally, psionic training is complete. We now will know how good some of our people are at psionics, and this is going to have a huge impact on their future in the program, because you do not want anyone in the final mission that is weak psionically. Here we go. Okay, Claude Picard. You're out. I'm sorry to say it, you're out. Sam Crossit! Oh my gosh! 87 is definitely respectable. Crystal Heinz, you're out. Boris, you're out. Michael Stewart and Michiko. Michael Stewart is... respectable. Michiko... is... Uh, not quite where I would want her. And Uta, hmm... Yeah, that's not... not the greatest showing. Psionic Strength shows how resistant you are to psionic attacks. Um, to a little bit of an extent, the uh, psionic skill as well. Sam Crossett, I'm, I'm amazed that you're a standout. That is fantastic, because you've been pretty mediocre, all things considered, but this just makes you so much more worthwhile. And Michael Stewart and Michiko, they are... they're respectable. Uta is respectable as well. They're not horrible. But they aren't fantastic either. However, this does lead to something interesting, which I will show off next time, I think. Things are... well, they're kind of looking up, but there are some dark things lurking in the shadows. Mostly alien infiltration missions, which I'm worried might start cropping up a lot more. But I think we can leave that alone for now. Thank you all for staying with me for this long. I hope you have a nice day. I hope it was made a little better by this. And I'll see you next time.